Welcome to the Cairo Business Mojo Podcast, where we deconstruct the methods, marketing, and mindset of successful business people and chiropractors from around the world. And now your host, Dr. Richard Day. Well, hello, I am Dr. Richard Day, and this is the Cairo Business Mojo Podcast. Thanks again for checking us out today, and thank you so much for checking us out over the course of this show from its start. I've really had a wonderful response so far. I've had some people send me some messages and tell me how much they're enjoying the show, and I want you to know how much I appreciate it. Putting together a podcast is a a lot of hard work, and I did not realize how much work it was going to be until I sat down and started doing it, but I really enjoy it so much. It's so fulfilling, especially when someone comes and says, hey, I've been listening because I can track the listens that I'm getting, and I, but I don't know who it is or you know, if it's someone's grandma who accidentally stumbled on it and they don't even care about the show. I mean, I don't know. Uh, but it's nice to know that some people are being helped out there, and that's really what I'm doing it for. I want to be able to serve and help others who could use some help or at least put you in touch with uh, ideas and people that maybe you haven't heard of or considered before. Well, the subject of today's podcast is making connections with dentists. And I can tell you in my own practices, this has been really a great connection to have. And it's not just limited to working with dentists. I've had success working with other non-competing healthcare professions. Um, and even competing, you know, if, uh, if you've got a specialty that you do, but the person down the street doesn't and he's a chiropractor and you guys can work well together, that's great. A lot of chiropractors also, though, they can consider it competition and, and don't want to do that. And that's fine. But figure out who you can work with. We also work with eye doctors. We've worked with physical therapists, um, a number of healthcare professionals, and they have all been really great referral resources. And we have referred to them as well. But today I want to talk specifically about dentists. Well, why would you want to partner with a dentist? Well, they are non-competing healthcare providers. Their clientele, their patients are your patients. Wouldn't it be great If while a patient was in a dentist chair or had an issue, that dentist could say, hey, I want you to see this chiropractor, or I recommend a chiropractor down the street, or even more commonly, this happens with dental hygienists because they do a lot of the work. You know, you might see the dentist for 10 minutes while they come in and do some drilling or or filling, but you have the dental hygienist that you see on a regular basis getting your teeth cleaned, right? And they talk to people all day long. This is true of hair salons as well. But you're going to have someone sitting in that chair, a captive audience, if you will, and that person's going to clean teeth and they're going to talk about their kids and they're going to talk about all kinds of things to that person. And wouldn't it be great if you were a thought in that person's head? So here's some of the ways we've reached out to dentists and made connections. One of the easiest things to do is just drop in and say hello. I've never walked into a dentist office where I wasn't greeted by friendly people who were eager to talk and chat with you a little bit about what it is that they do. That's an easy conversation to have, and invariably, if you ask them about what they do, they're going to ask you about what you do as well. And this is important to make these relations for a couple of reasons. Number one, you're talking to people who are on their feet all day, who are hunched over working in a very small place. These people need our help. And so they understand the aches and pains that they have when they go home. And if you walk in and say, I have a solution that maybe you haven't tried or you ought to consider, they're going to listen a little bit. You might also give them a gift basket if you have time to put that together with or without the gift basket, though it's easy to make that connection and have that conversation. The second thing I would bring up is how we can help people that have TMJ disorders or that have whiplash injuries that cause bruxism or both. As chiropractors, this is something we see all the time and can be very effective with in practice. Now, that's just going in and introducing yourself. I think you ought to take it one step further and make an appointment to get your teeth cleaned there. Usually it's around $100 to get your teeth cleaned someplace. A lot of places offer a professional discount. In our hometown, we worked out a deal where I treated the dentist for free and he treated my family for free. And that's an even, that's the best relationship you can have in my book. And the nice thing about having an appointment is that number one, you've got a longer period of time to interact with that person. Even though they're going to be cleaning your teeth and digging around and poking in your mouth, you're going to meet the dentist. He or she is going to walk in at some point and have that conversation. And at the very least, you'll be able to introduce yourself and say that you're a chiropractor, but you're going to be able to build a rapport with that 
person. And I've had people that clean my teeth and the next day they've come in and booked an appointment in the practice to be seen. So this works very well. And then what you've got is a built-in advocate for your care right inside someone else's office. And if you're able to help that one person, they're going to tell their coworkers at the very least and send them in. And that's exactly what has happened with us. And they may even mention it to a patient or two, or they'll call you or the dentist will call and say, Hey, I've got someone here. They were recently in a car wreck. They're having some neck pain, but I was here, you know, just checking them out for their checkup. And it turns out they're starting to grind their teeth and have some jaw pain as well. Can I send them on over? I mean, these sorts of things happen. But they're not going to happen if you don't go over and make that introduction. And don't send a CA or a marketing person, but go in person and make that personal connection yourself. And if you don't get a response that first time, that's fine. Give it about three weeks and maybe go in for a second touch, have a second encounter with them, reintroduce yourself, ask if you can get some of their cards. Remember, everyone thinks of things in terms of what's in it for them. And the first time you're going to ask for some of their cards too because you want to pass those out to people that you treat and you know perhaps would benefit from a night guard or something like that to help with the condition that you're treating. So however you choose to approach that, just go in and have that conversation again and make that second contact. So if you haven't tried this, go out there and give it a shot. If you've done it, but it's been a while, go out and check around again with the people who are in your community, who are the dentists and other healthcare providers. And if you've got new healthcare providers in town, they're really perfect because they're new and they don't really know anybody and they want to get established as well. So it's easy to work with those folks. I hope this has been helpful to you. Go out and have a great day. Thanks for listening to the Cairo Business Mojo Podcast at www.cairobusinessmojo.com.